welcome to today's video. My name is Mara and I'm a Glendon Campus student e-ambassador. I can't believe this is the final video for the school year. Even though it felt super long, it also flew by at the same time. I've been done exams for a full week now and I think anyone that isn't finished yet only has maybe one day left of exams. And I really want to finish this year off on a positive note. So for this video, I'll be talking about the biggest successes I've had this year and some goals I already have for the next school year. So the first thing I really enjoyed this year and I'm proud of myself for is this e-ambassador position. It's been really fun to connect with any current students at Glendon or incoming students for next year. Also, since the school year was online, it's really cool how as a student, there was still a lot of work study opportunities at Glendon. At the start of the school year, I didn't even expect for all the student jobs and positions to be moved online, but it seems like so many of them were, which is really cool as a student to have all these different opportunities to work with Glendon or with York. So it was really cool to be part of that because I did work on campus before, but obviously once everything closed, I sadly had to stop that job. So it was really great to see all these opportunities online too. The next thing that I really enjoyed this winter term is when I joined the Her Campus chapter at York. Her Campus is an online magazine and they have a lot of chapters at many universities. So I joined the club this winter term as a writer and it's been really fun for me because I like writing but I think I'm used to writing more formally. From the classes I'm always writing an essay or a research analysis so it's been really fun to get to write magazine articles on topics that I'm interested in. And thankfully this was probably Probably one of the easiest clubs you could join with the online setting because the magazine's already online so all the work was already set up for me and for next year there's definitely a lot of other clubs I'm interested in joining especially so I can participate more in the Glendon community because right now I follow so many clubs on Instagram at Glendon and at Kiel it's really cool but being at Glendon though there is the chance to join clubs at York too so her campus is a club at York but as a Glendon student I still have the chance to participate which has also been cool because it's given me the chance to talk to people I would almost never see since I take almost all my classes at Glendon and don't spend too much time at the Keele campus. The next thing that was super important to me with classes being online is that I had the chance to take a bunch of classes that I was really interested in. I think that all my courses except for one were mandatory for my major so they were all international studies courses. I really enjoyed my mandatory courses and then the one course I chose to take was an FSL course French as a second language and since I was interested in the topics of the courses I think that's what really helped me succeed since this year for me and a lot of people it's been a lot more difficult to study to do readings to complete assignments but since I enjoyed my courses and I had some really great professors it made it a bit easier on me since I did enjoy the work I had to do my two favorite courses this year one of them was called the 20th century a global perspective I think. It has a long name, but it was a 20th century history based course. And then my other favorite was called Introduction to International Relations, which going into it, it just sounded like a generic course. But once I started doing the readings and the lectures started, it was so much more interesting than I had expected. It wasn't just international relations theories. A lot of it was way more engaging than that. Now I'm super excited for my summer courses. It was a little difficult to get into them because I think this year there's a lot of demand for summer courses so they all filled up pretty quickly but thankfully I got into the ones that I wanted in the end so now for the first summer term I'll be taking public law one the course is called and then the second summer term is public law two. And while I haven't taken any law based courses so far at Glendon I remember taking law classes in high school and they were my favorite so now I'm really excited for the summer and even for next year it's been a little difficult to plan ahead for my courses just because I was thankfully accepted to the exchange program at Glendon. But like I mentioned before, with COVID, none of it is really guaranteed. So what I'll be doing to prepare is using the online virtual schedule builder so I can kind of put different classes together and see how my schedule would look. And what I like to do to stay organized and it's kind of fun like this is I'll draw myself a schedule for the fall term and the winter term. And then I'll fill in the courses I want to take and see if there's any problems. And while you can do it online, and it's also kind of fun to draw it out. You can make it look all pretty if you want. So that's all for today's video, my last video. It's definitely been 
kind of a crazy school year in both good and kind of bad ways but like i was talking about in last week's video when i had my picnic celebrate the victory of just finishing the school year i know that academically as students we faced a lot of new challenges and pretty much new challenges in every area of life but we finished the school year and when this video is going up, everyone will be done. So congrats for finishing strong and thanks for joining me on my e-ambassador journey with all these YouTube videos. Or if you watch my Instagram takeover on the Glendon campus account or the Instagram lives I've done with the other e-ambassadors. It's been a lot of fun and hopefully we're all back at campus safely next year. Thanks for watching. Bye.